If you don't know what to wear or buy for spring, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Chi Chi. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the items you need in your closet to dress best this season. So the first accessory you're gonna need is going to be a throw over, a throw on jacket. If you had asked me this question last year, I would have said, or two years ago, I would have said the shacket. But this year, move over shacket, move in bomber. Okay, it's bomber season. Zara has them in a plethora of styles from crop to oversize and a plethora of fabrics, okay, from like tweed to like a windbreaker fabric. You can find a shacket any and everywhere. And if you can't fit Zara, Amazon has some great options, specifically the drop on Amazon and a ton of other high street stores are doing it. Make sure to check the description box because I will be sure to add links to similar items. Now, oh my God, I almost forgot. We already jumped into the video and we didn't talk about my outfit. So I am actually wearing a wrap dress um, from H&M. It's not new season, I'm sorry, but actually I was just on on the site and I saw that they still have this wrap dress. I'm not sure if they still have this color, but this color though, listen, H&M does a lot of different styles in this color. I think it's called Mango. No, actually I'm thinking about Amazon. Never mind. <laughs> That's Amazon. Okay, but if this exact colorway is available, I'll link it. If just the style is available, I'll link it. Wrap dresses are universally flattering. If you've got baby showers, weddings, baby showers, weddings. What's the one that married people to? <laughs> Wedding showers? You guys know what I'm saying. If you got all of that stuff coming up, a wrap dress will not fail you, okay? You can dress it down even with sneakers. So I will link some options for you down below. I know it's not wedding shower, but I can't think of what it is. What I like about fashion these days is that you can pretty much dress up or dress down what you want. I love the idea of throwing on a very chunky, very utilitarian bomber jacket with some jeans and some heels. It also looks great with sneakers. So whatever your personal style is, I feel like the bomber jacket can fit into that. And if you're not sure where to start, I have one in a light color neutral and one in a dark color neutral. And once you've covered those neutral bases, I love this one. And and how they styled it with this bralette that would be so cute for a night out. The second spring essential is going to be a lightweight trouser. Trousers have been having a moment for the last couple of seasons. I'm here for it, okay? And now you can dress your trouser down with a pair of white sneakers. I just love that look. I've seen all the girls on Pinterest, all the fashion girls rocking that look. I think it's super chic and super sleek. I have these trousers that I actually picked up from Abercrombie. I'll be sure to link them down below. The quality is there. I love that for me. And I also love that they have short or petite, regular and tall, and I'm wearing it here in tall. Now, what I wanna do and what I've been meaning to do is to reorder these trousers in a regular so I can wear them with sneakers, but I just love when I can throw in a pair of heels with my trousers. I just love when the trousers just like grazes the floor. It just looks super chic. Okay, and the thing about a trouser is that you can now pretty much wear it from work to weekend, okay? Wear it with a cute blouse for work and some heels. Wear it with a sneaker for the weekend. You could also do like a statement top or something a little bit lacy and do a date night or even a wedding guest look. Like something like a silky camisole or something like that with a trouser can also work as a wedding guest look if you really don't wanna go out and spend new money on a whole new outfit. So it's a very versatile piece and I think it's an essential, especially one that is like a mid-weight to lightweight. That will take you from spring all the way through summer. It's a sophisticated element that can be added into your casual wardrobe to elevate it. 
Now, when, you, when I think of spring, I think of florals, I think of pastels, and so this is just around the time where your wardrobe kind of lightens up. We break away from all of the darker and moodier tones from winter and we start embracing light and bright. If you're a denim girl like me, a pair of light colored jeans are a must have. My recommendation is to try a wide leg pair because that happens to be what's current right now and it's a great break from the skinny jeans. Like I know the skinny jeans have had us in a chokehold but it's time for us to, I want to say retire them, but it's time for us to try different silhouettes because you might be surprised that some of those struggles that you had with skinny jeans have been mitigated with this new cut that actually may be a better suit for your shape. Get it? Where millennials are attached to our skinny jeans. <laughs> They've been through it with us. But I really recommend that you actually try different styles and not just a wide leg. You could do a straight leg. You can even do a flare leg. I'm not a flare fan, but you could even try it because one of those other cuts might actually be a lot better suited for your shape. Whatever cut you decide to go with, adding a pair of light colored jeans will pair a lot better with the lighter colors and the floral patterns that we see in the spring and summer months, right? If you do like a really bold color or even a pastel color with black, it just tends to be too heavy and kind of washes out that color. So I definitely recommend that you find a pair of light color. My personal favorite is always going to be an off-white that suits your shape, whatever cut that may be. run through some of the basics. A cardigan is a must have as we transition. I find either going for a boyfriend style is a little bit longer or going for a crop style is kind of like the place to be in 2023. So throw it on with some trousers for work, throw it on with some jeans to run errands. All of the pieces I've included in this list really work to mix and match and that is ideally what you want from your wardrobe. Once you have your basics covered, all of your neutral colors, you can definitely have fun. I especially love this right here. essentials that you need to have and multiple variations. It's going to be your tanks and your tees. Definitely want to have white tanks and tees, but you also want to have neutral colors as well. Like you want to have some creams, some tans. You may even want to add like an army green. You also want to have a stripe. I will link some options for you, H&M, ASOS, and Target as some of my go-to places to refresh on these pieces. Now, if you're gonna spend money anywhere, I suggest you spend money and invest and take the time to find the perfect crisp white tea for you because it'll take you all the way from spring all through summer honestly year round okay and I find that investing in these t-shirts means that they wear better the stains come out a lot easier and you really get um, the most bang for your buck The next item that definitely should be on your list, especially if you're a working girl, is going to be a light colored blazer. Not only do you wear this to work in the warmer months, not only will it pair well with all of your colors and all of your pastels and all of your florals, it is a versatile piece that can be worn to work but also on weekends and used to smarten up your more casual pieces, right? A light Color blazer is great for that airport look. Maybe you throw on some joggers, you throw on a blazer, you throw on some mules. You look put together and definitely a spring must have. So if you're enjoying this video, if you've got some value out of it, this would be a great time to hit that like button and of course subscribe. Now I have a bonus for you. So the bonus must have essential you need is going to be the cargo pant, okay? Cargos have the girls in a choke 
home, okay? And if I would say there was one breakthrough trend in the last year, it's going to have to be the utility pant or the utility skirt, okay? Because you can do a cargo skirt, but we're gonna stick with the pant, okay? <laughs> you need a pair of these. These are great, and the best part is they pretty much work year round. You can go with the classic green, you can go with a camo print, you can go with a lighter color to kind of like integrate with all of the colors that we've been sharing for this season, or you could go with black. You know, if that's more of what goes with your wardrobe. But I would say a cargo pant, okay? If you wanna keep up with the girls, <laughs> is the bonus item that you need to throw into your spring wardrobe if you do not have one already. And what I like about these cargo pants nowadays is that they're being made in every way you can think. There's leather cargo pants, there's cargo pants that's made out of like the windbreaker break fabric, like, you know, the sporty fabrics. There's um, cargo pockets being thrown on trousers. There's cargo being thrown on linen pants. Pants, cargo pockets being thrown on silky pants like whatever your aesthetic is you can find a cargo pocket on a pant okay so I'm gonna link some options for you down below so let me know if you would add anything to this essentials list in the comments down below I really love hearing from you guys okay even if you have nothing to add to this list say hi okay um and truly truly if you want more videos just like this all you have to do is subscribe now, comment, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.